Welcome to the Gardens of Bliss in Second Life. Hello, I'm Aphilo Arde in Second Life, and Scott McLeod in Real Life, and am making a Harbin Hot Springs uh, virtual project in Second Life and OpenSim. Harbin Hot Springs is a hot springs retreat center in Northern California about which I'm writing an ethnography currently. And we're here in Second Life in the Gardens of Bliss, which is a sim or simulation that is both very lovely and uh, a nice natural area. We're here uh, near pools, which you can make in Second Life uh, that appear to be quite uh, fluid and natural. And in the process of making my virtual hot carbon hot springs, I will begin to use a variety of the builds that you see uh, around. I hope at uh, some point in the future that we can uh, actually come into virtual Harbin, get in our own bathtubs, for example, at home, and uh, begin to create the experience of being at Harbin uh, in our own lives, wherever we are. At Harbin, there are six pools, uh, some of which are warm, heated by geothermal uh, waters from under the ground. And in this virtual world, uh, where we are now, you can see that it's possible to make uh, water uh, fluid, to make uh, the appearance of water in this build. I just want to briefly show you a little bit more of the Gardens of Bliss. So I'm going to fly up right now and we'll take a little tour of this beautiful valley over to my right. So come this way. So stuff there. Hold on, Scott. Okay, go ahead. So as this virtual island reses or realizes, you can begin to see all kinds of mountains, trees, and waterfalls. Uh, let's go a little further. Hold on. Hold this on. Let's go down to the valley floor for uh, a one last uh, look at what will become something like uh, virtual Harbin Hot Springs, an ethnographic uh, virtual field site. Second Life, which is uh, Harvard University's virtual island. We're in the Berkman Sandbox, where you can practice building. What's unique about Second Life and related virtual worlds like OpenSim is that we, as avatars, build them. We have built everything you see around us. Uh, so to build, you uh, click on the ground. I'm going to do this right now and show you a brief example of building. Uh, hit the create button and a palette pops up. I, with a magic wand then, choose a geometrical shape. I've chosen a sphere and click on the ground with the magic wand and a sphere appears. 
And then I can begin to change its dimensions. Uh, I can hollow it out, for example. I'm going to just quickly change a dimension. So I just made it a little bit longer. I can also add texture to this. I can turn it into a fluid object and uh, or hair-like objects with scripts. And from this basis, Second Life emerges. So you and I as avatars, as end users, become the builders of this virtual world. Oh, here's another builder. Ah, hello, Tali. Uh, can you change it into different shapes? I didn't catch it before. OK. So I'm changing the size of this object. And by doing so, create, in a way, the building blocks of all of Second Life, uh, which is basically an X, Y, Z grid in uh, cyberspace. Uh, keep changing it into a different, different shapes. His three is not going to work. Turn into a ball. <laughs> Small ball. Smaller? Yeah. Even smaller. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good, because then. Oh, okay, go on. Okay, and uh, once one's built an object, it stays there, and uh, one can save it to one's inventory. So I'm going to remove it now, the ball will disappear, and it's in my inventory, from which I can then uh, use it at a later point. So Second Life is remarkable because we all make it. And my argument in this real-life Harbin Hot Springs ethnography virtual carbon ethnography is that both building in virtual worlds is an act of ethnography. So to build is to represent ethnographically when I make this virtual carbon field site. And also to create a field site in a virtual world is then possibly and potentially comparable with an on-the-ground field site, such as Harbin Hot Springs in real life, and can become a place of or for ethnographic participant observation. In the process of making a virtual Harbin, which I'm doing uh, potentially both in Second Life and in Open Simulator, a open source virtual world which uses the Second Life library of assets and can connect to both the open source OpenSim grid and Second Life grid, I want to explore how the making of virtual Harbin Hot Springs is ethnographic representation that's possibly comparable with how text and writing are modes of ethnographic representation and make a virtual Harbin field site where avatars can come and visit and uh, which potentially I will compare with the on the ground Harbin hot springs in Northern California. So in places like Berkman Island where we are now in the sandbox, you can learn the uh, techniques and uh, processes of building. It's very uh, straightforward and relatively simple. And it's from places like this that uh, people have learned how to build and how and all of Second Life is basically built.
in the waters here, in the Gardens of Bliss in Second Life, I'd like to close by uh, observing how in making uh, a virtual harbin that begins to approximate the on-the-ground harbin, the Gardens of Bliss here in Second Life are pretty close to what I think will emerge. And the waters themselves, which we're standing in right now, will potentially become ways for you or I in our own homes to begin to uh, explore actually being at Harbin. For example, you might be able to enjoy Harbin hot springs virtually in your bathtub. So this is an example here in Second Life of what virtual Harbin will begin to appear to be. And in conjunction with Open Simulator, the open source version of uh, virtual worlds that can connect with Second Life, I hope to create a virtual Harbin, which is an ethnographic field site, which is in turn comparable with the on the ground Harbin in Northern California, and the building of which this virtual Harbin becomes a process of ethnographic representation. All right. So, All right. Yeah, great. Oh, did you want to add anything? Uh, this is 22nd, 2009, and I'm a Philo Arde in Second Life, and Scott McLeod in Real Life, and Lizzie Ha in Real Life at the University of California, Berkeley, video recorded this. Uh, in Second Life, she's August Drevneruski, and uh, thank you. All right.